गुड आफ्टरनून लेट्स बिगिन विथ आवर पाइथन Till now we have saw operators. There are different different operator available in Python. We have gone through each one one by one. So there is arithmetic operator. Secondly, there is comparison operator. Third operator is logical operator. Fourth operator is assignment operator. Fifth operator is identity operator, and sixth operator is membership operator. So in arithmetic operator, we have done stuff like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulo, and exponent. In comparison operator, we have saw. A different operator that can be used to compare the value, like less than equal to, greater than, equal to, not equal to. And in logical operator, there is a and and or. So we can check whether the both value are present or one value is present. In assignment operator, we can assign a value to a variable. And we can also perform shorthand variable operation like plus equal to. Then there is identity operator in which we are using is keyword. So this will check whether the variable a and b are located at the same part of the memory or not, and it will return a boolean value true or false. Lastly, there is membership operator. In membership operator, we are using in keyword, and from the given sequence like string, list, tuple, set, and dictionary, we can find whether the value is present or not. Next, we will see variable. I'm saving this file. So, what is variable? Variable is a location in memory used to store some data or value. They are given a unique name to differentiate between a different memory location.
So this is the definition of variable. Assignment operator to assign a value to a variable. operator to define a variable assignment firstly there is a variable in which integer value is defined secondly in b variable float value is defined and in last variable c the string is defined in this way we can define a variable if we find this variable this variable what we have defined next is multiple assignment can define a variable into a single line. this program we will get this variable output what we have defined so this is called multiple assignment in Python So a same variable value to a different variable. So here what we have defined a equal to b equal to c and we are giving the value
now when we run this program so the value for the e variable b variable and c variable will be the same because here we have defined a multiple assignment of the value to the different different variable like a b and c that's why we are getting here a same output of different different variable in this way we can use multiple assignment of variable Now every variable is stored at some location. We can print that location using the ID keyword present in the Python. So this is the location where the x variable is stored with the value of 3. So by using id keyword we can print the location of the particular variable. So at this memory location the value of x is saved. So through id keyword we can find the location. Now we are defining another variable. So you can see the value that we got by printing different different variable is different. So memory is stored of different variable at different location. So here it is printing the id which means the location of x and here it is the location of y variable where the value of x which is 3 and the value of y which is 5 it is stored at this location so through id keyword in python we can find the location of each variable Next, we are going to see type casting. What is type casting? It means converting one data type to another data type, which is called type casting.
What we have done here, we have to find three variable x, y, and z, and we have typecast the value using the int keyword. So the value will be typecast, which we have put it inside the parenthesis. So firstly, we have defined integer. Secondly, we have defined here float. And third, that is string. When we run this program, so as you can see, the value what we have entered as an input and the value we are getting as a output so for the x it is printing one for the y which is in float we have typecast the value 2.8 so in y variable we are getting a value of 2 and z which is a string we have typecast it into an integer that's why the value here we are getting is 3 so in z variable the string value is typecast to integer variable So what we have done here, we have the value in the variable x, y, z and w and we have used a flow keyword to typecast the value and we run this program here what we are getting the output of flow typecasting. When we are printing the x, the value of integer which is 1, it is typecast with a value of 1.0. So the integer is typecast into float value and decimal here which is put in the x variable. The y variable which is already in the float we can get the output same what we have typed the input 
the z variable which is string it is converted into a float variable and the string variable which is in the decimal the value of which is 4.6 also type comes into the float variable with the value of 4.6 so in this way by using the float keyword we can type first the value what we have done here we have created a three variable and we are using a str keyword to type cast the value into a string first we have a string value in the x variable in the y variable we have the value of integer and lastly in the z variable we have the float value of 3.0 which we are type casting using the str keyword when we run this program so this is the output which we are getting using the str keyword so value is type cast into x y and z variable so this is string type casting in which we have converted a string value, a integer value and a float value into a string value. Now we will see how we can print the value using a format. Firstly, I am using the print keyword to do 
directly print in the console so this way we can directly pass our message into a print statement and when we run this program we will get the message what we have put it in a print statement next in python we can use a format keyword to print our value So here we have used a format keyword which is present in python in which we can pass a multiple parameter what we have to print. In the 0 index there is red and on the 1 index it is butter. So in the printing statement here we can write a curly braces in which we can pass the index value and when we print this statement in this way we can get the output so here break which is at zero position we are getting here on the zero position and butter which is on one index we are getting here on the one index so in this way we can use a python print statement along with the format keyword to print the statement in which we can pass the index value if we want to change the index value we can also change it Here we can change the position with 1 and 0. So now our output will be interchanged. Now you can see the output, the value of 1, which is better is printing here because we have passed 1 here and the value of grid which is on 0th index we can get it here so we can use format to print the formatting and we can also pass the index at which we want to pass the variable and to print that value
what we have done here we have taken a value which is float value we have passed the message that the value of x is and with a percentage here we can define the float value at what decimal we want to print and here with the percentage symbol we have printed that variable of x and we run this program so here we are getting a decimal of 2 because we have written here the point after decimal is 2 here. that's why we are getting here a rounded value of 3.5 and the message is also coming, coming along the value of x is so in this way we can print the statement along with how many decimals we want Here we have changed the floating value from 2 to 4. Now when we run this statement, then the value we are getting is 12 point and after the decimal we are getting a 4 value as we have passed here. 4 so in this way we can print the statement along with message along with format or we can simply print the value what we have passed in the message so these are the some printing statement in python Next, there is Python import. So, import is called a header. In any language, if we want to use any inbuilt library, we are using a different different header which are written in a particular language. In Python, to import the library, we are using the import keyword. Then we have to pass which library we want to use. In this case, we are using math library. When we print math dot pl which is value of pi when we run this program here we can see the value of 
pi which is 3.14 we are getting using a math module in this we didn't write any logic to print the pi value but as we have imported the header of library math so from the math library we can call the inbuilt function which is pi using a dot operator and here we are getting the value of pi we can also add alias using a as keyword and we can put here m or any value that we can use later to call any inbuilt function from the library so from now onward we can call any math library function using a m which we have set here as alias now if we run this we will get the same output when we change here math as m because we have imported as alias as m that's why we can use m to call any inbuilt function of that library the another example of import is sys which is system here we can print the path using the sys module of the current directory when we run this program here we can get the path of our computer of different different location where the python is installed so this is my uh, path where my python is installed so the system library which we have imported we can call directly a path function and we will get the output in this way we can use a python import statement and we can also put alias here so what we have seen today we have seen a variable it is used to store value with a unique name and a different memory location. We have assigned a variable using a equal to operator. Then we have saw a multiple assignment which is done in a single line. After that, we have checked the location using the ID keyword of variable next we have gone to type casting which is used for converting one data type into another data type so here we have convert a float value a string value to integer value same stuff we have done for float to type cast and lastly the type cast we have some string Then we have gone through printing statement and format which is used in Python. We have printed a simple statement, after that we use a format keyword. We have interchanged the value of index and lastly we have done a floating with a decimal range. After that we have saw an import statement 
which is one type of header in Python to use the library. We have used our input keyword and we also defined areas to use that function. So this is our input statement.